Nine more minutes, guys. Yeah. I'm in a, like, ridiculous battle over a Stanley Bedrock 605. So let's see if we win this thing. Here's the key behind eBay. You gotta wait to like 30 seconds, see where the bids are, right? Then you wait for like six seconds left, then you place your bid to the highest amount that you're willing to pay, and hopefully at that point, you will get lucky. So if you guys are watching this, I got lucky. <laughs> that may be mine. All right, four more minutes. Three minutes remaining. <laughs> One minute remaining. Here we go. Oh crap. Oh, 10 seconds. We're gonna wait. Seven, six, confirm bid. Confirm bid. Did they win? Sorry, you missed out. Do you guys wanna know what it went for? $143.50. Looks like we're doing a Stanley number four. Hey, it's okay, it's a Bailey. I can't believe I lost. So I didn't win that auction, but about an hour later, when I was driving, another 605 came up for auction, and guess what? I won. So now with this awesome Bedrock 605, we're gonna be doing a full restoration, and then we're also gonna be doing a Stanley Bailey number four. And the reason I'm doing the four is because we're gonna do two different methods. With the Bailey, we're gonna try a method that I've never done, but I've heard really good things about. Evaporust. This thing's supposed to remove rust within an hour to 12 hours, so we'll give it a shot with this. As far as the 605 Bedrock, I'm gonna go old school, the way I've been restoring planes since I've had planes, and we're gonna use a wire wheel. So um, we're gonna throw this in some Evaporust, let it sit, and this we're gonna get fancy with. Welcome to the Comar Project. We're gonna let that number four sit overnight probably, let the evaporus do its thing. We're gonna get to the brass and the wood, the tote and the handle a little bit later, but now let's start going for the bedrock. Oh yeah. And that my friends is the disassembly of the bedrock 605. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> All right, so the bedrock is a little bit different than your average planes. The frog assembly is a little bit different. Let me show you. Okay, so the frog is pretty much the same thing as you would see on any other Stanley plane. However, this bottom piece here inside of the base or the sole of the plane is a little bit different. It has three different screws. Typically, you would have a regular screw that goes into the frog and screws right into the bed of the plane. In a bedrock, it's a little bit different. You have these kind of retention set screws, I don't know what you would call them. So instead of the other screw, the set screw sits in into the frog, goes into the hole of the sole, and then it gets tightened through the back with one of these. Pretty cool, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and clean this bad boy up and take it for a spin. <laughs> careful when you do this. I just wasn't paying attention. Oh well. To get into the little nooks and crannies, I'm just gonna use a Dremel with a little wire brush and get out.
We have all of our metal pieces all done up and cleaned. We're gonna Japan them. I think that's what it's called. But first I want to take care of all the wood. So the tote was painted orange. Who the hell paint this thing orange? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to strip off all this paint. And I just found some stripper in a can. This thing's orange too. Not sure if this is gonna work very well, but we're gonna try it. So we're gonna spray it, let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. In the meantime, we're gonna take care of the Japaning. Yeah. Oh, and it's not true Japaning, it's just paint. Yeah. All right, so this thing glued up really well, and we are so close. We just need to sand it down, make it look all shiny, spray it with some lacquer, and then assemble the thing. Oh, this thing's gonna be the bee's knees. Bee's knees? Are you gonna think? All right, now that the 605 is done, let's see what the Stanley Bailey number four looks like. And it's been sitting in the evaporus for about uh, almost three days, so I hope it didn't dissolve. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got cooking, Galecki! Oh yeah. All the rust is gone. Everything. Oh, that's awesome. And the Japaning's left on it. Yep. So cool. This is just 600 grit sandpaper. Oh, brand new. Everything's pretty much ready to be assembled. It's time for my least favorite part, and that's the sharpening. Typically, I'll do these on my diamond stones and whetstones, but since I think these blades are pretty far gone, I got a little sharpening station. It's called Work Sharp. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a try. We're gonna start off with some lower grits to grind the bevel down, and then we're gonna get it stupid sharp. Let's have some fun with it. <laughs> So there you are guys, two hand planes, 
fully restored in two different methods. The Stanley number four, which is considered a smoothing plane, was restored using the Evaporust, worked fantastic. The Bedrock 605, which I think is my new favorite hand plane, was restored using my old technique that I've been using for years, and that was with a wire wheel. Now, both of these techniques work, they're fine. This one takes a little bit longer because you have to sit. This one takes a little bit more elbow grease because you actually have to work on it. Whichever method you choose is up to you. It just depends on what you prefer. Now these planes function great now. I cannot wait to start using them on a daily basis. And if you guys like restoration videos like this, let me know in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss upcoming videos. If you want to see some of the behind the scenes stuff, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. It's at Komar Project. I post daily stories on projects that I'm working on, like restorations like this and other builds, and I get into a lot of shenanigans over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I will see you guys next time. Man, these things turn out good.